Steam Rich. All right, so this weekend I played a Steamroller 2012 25 point tournament at my local game store. I brought to it Cricks because I'm not really practiced enough with my circle yet. I feel comfortable with Chromac, but not comfortable enough with Ikaya, Mosar, or Epic Kruger. So I opted to go with Cricks because I'm pretty experienced with Epic Scar, and while I'm not that experienced with Terminus, I find that he's probably sort of easy to play. I could be wrong, I haven't played many games with him yet. So this first game, I drew up against an opponent named... He's, he goes under Soylent on the forums, and he's a really, really strong player. He actually places in most of the tournaments around this area, and so I was kind of worried about having to face him round one. Alright, so here's my deployment. Um, I've got the Nightmare, I've got the Death Jack, I have a Pistol Wraith, I have Epic Scar, and a minimum unit of Bane Thralls. Um, here, I actually made a mistake, and I have Bane Lord Tartarus in. There was like some confusion about my points being wrong, but... So I, I, I cheated my opponent, apparently, and I'm really, really sorry. Luckily, Tartarus didn't have an impact, and he got killed pretty early. He didn't kill anything, so I guess I don't feel so bad. But I, I'm sorry. I apologize now. Um, my ideas here are mainly, you know, have the Pistol Wraith for the feet, have Nightmare and Death Jack, which are both really heavy hitters and game enders. Bane Thralls just to chew through some stuff. Alright, so here's his army. He's got, I believe, two Agonizers. He's got a Gatorman Posse. He's got a Titan Gladiator, he's got a Titan Cannoneer, and he's got Reshef. I think he also has a um, Arc Node solo in there behind someone. Um, this list actually turned out to be really tough. The Gatorman Posse are so annoying to deal with in objective games, and the Agonizers as well. Okay, so here is my Crix turn one. I run up the Nightmare, I run up the Death Jack, run up the Pistol Wraith, run up the Bane Thralls, run up Tartarus, run up, or no, 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 move up Scar, and I cast Admonition on the Death Jack, and I cast Death Ward onto the Nightmare. I might have that backwards, but that's the rough lay of things right now. Uh, it's pretty boring as turn ones go. So here's Scorn turn one. He runs up the Gatorman posse and kind of spreads them out. He has an Agonizer that he moves up here, and he uses the thing where I can't channel or allocate focus. And so that's kind of annoying, because now my Nightmare can't get focus. Um, the Gladiator just, I think, moves or rushes up or something. Rasheth just moves up. The Cannoneer takes a shot at the Death Jack, deviates and kills the Bane Thrall. And the other... Agonizer moves up and riles, I believe, so this is kind of where our armies are looking at right now. On a side note, the Nightmare has actually picked the Gatorman Posse as his prey. Uh, he picked that at the beginning, so I am within range of my prey, so I move over even though he's in terrain and I kill one Gator, I believe, or maybe I don't, maybe I just wound the Gator. And I have a Pistol Wraith that I run up. And I just kind of like, I moved the Death Jack back a little bit because I'm not ready to use my feet yet. I really want to wait until turn three on this one. Alright, so Scorn turn two. He charges Nightmare with the Gators and does a little bit of damage. He runs up an Arc Node guy and kills Tartarus and a couple Bane Thralls. The Cannoneer shoots and kills a Bane Thrall. Um, I think that's about it. For right now, I think he moves both of his uh, titans so that they're barely touching the ob right objective. So that's going to be a pain in the ass to get rid of, I think. Okay, so with time turns and everything, I missed one picture. This is my turn, but the gators who are uh, next to Scar should be by the Death Jack. So I killed the gators with Nightmare and Death Jack and the Agonizer. Um, I didn't foresee, but the gators would be able to then run past because Death Jack doesn't have reach, so I don't provoke free strikes very far. And they just run over here and tie up Scar. 
But on my turn three, I actually used my feet with Scar, charged the Bane Thralls up, so two Bane Thralls, Deathjack Nightmare, and Epic Scar are under the feet. So here's where him really being a better player than me starts to come into effect. Because whereas most people, when they see Epic Scar's feet, say, Ah, oh, well, I'm fucked. He says, I'm a smart player and I know ways around this. So what he does is he kills three of the Bane Thralls by trampling with both of his titans, all while trampling one of his titans into the left box so he can move his arc node out of the box over here so that he can cast spells onto the gators because the gators have a lower defense than Scar. So he casts Breath of Corruption and that's a power 12. Scar isn't really fond of power 12s, especially when they're boosted. So this turn, Crick's turn 4, I, I start my turn with Scar flanked on both sides with Gatorman. Uh, he also moved up his Arc Node type character, and I needed to get rid of that as well, because he could spell Assassin me to death. But I also needed to get rid of both of his Titans. Um, Nightmare can warp for Ghostly and get to the 1, but Deathjack can't really get through this terrain, so I need to get a Perdition off. And so since I, I hit a Perdition on the Arc Node solo and kill a Gator, allowing my Deathjack to move up far enough that he can move up and kill the Gladiator or Cannoneer, both the Titans are dead now. Alright, so here is Scorn turn 4, the final turn. He actually ends up moving up his Gator around Scar, and then he moves up Rasheth. Um, you can see here, Fat Rasheth just like being carried forward to finish off Scar. Um, he actually casts Breath of Corruption on the Gatorman because they kind of have a lower defense. And I think that that's a really wise tactic and it's just like pretty solid. I didn't really have any way to stop that when he ran up both those Gators. They're just really tough. Scar really had trouble getting through them, and she had to burn through a lot of focus to try and kill them. And here you even see one Gatorman still living. Uh, just a really good jam unit. I might even have to pick up a unit myself. But overall, this is a really good game. Game 1 is a loss. However, I got a lot of army points, and I scored one control point. Okay, so the afterthoughts of this game. I really think the game changer was that I wasn't trying to assassinate Rasheth ever. Uh, for some reason, I was thrown off by the train in the middle or all of the threats, but I didn't get a chance to try to assassinate him. Instead, I got tied up with the Gatorman, so I'll know better next time. Be sure to check out game two and three coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching.